Howdy folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again, and yes, this paint scheme is very famous from NASCAR Inside Line. You've probably seen it either winning races or flipping in the infield. Anyways, it is 2012's Dave Blaney Seal Wrap Window Widow Wax. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. One of the most random paint schemes out there, but it's iconic from that game, and I made a diecast of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Alrighty, folks, we're out of the good old box, and let's dive into this diecast review. What a fun diecast this was to build. One of the most iconic cars from that game, NASCAR Inside Line. Man, I have so many stories to talk about with that game. <laughs> oh my goodness, from the crazy online lobbies that game had to literally being a crew chief for my friend during his career mode. Like, literally making the pit calls, adjustments, calling the strategy, everything. I was even a spotter. It was fun. Uh, a decade ago. But anyways, we're going to dive into this diecast uh, review here. Of course, the donor car I got from friends over there at Circle of Diecast. Hey, you got plenty of uh, goodies over there you can get. Save on shipping with that promo code Diecast Buffet. Any orders $30 or more, fellas, make sure to check that out. Actually have new stuff over there as well. So if you're interested for the 2024 season, hey, pick up some of them great next-gen diecasts. They're a lot of fun. Uh, I got Widow Wax right there on the hood. And uh, you got... I don't know. I, every time I see this paint scheme, I think of NASCAR inside line. It might just be like the most, I wouldn't say iconic, but it's certainly one of. Because every single race, I felt like this car ran. I don't know if that was his only paint scheme or not, but I don't remember it racing in real life. So I, haven't, I know it did run in real life, but it's just cool having a die cast of that. So here at the front of the car, got Impala, got the bow tie there. Got Moog Mail, Comp, Edelbrock, Sudoku. Such a simple paint scheme, but so cool at the same time. You know, Dave Blaney, man, he almost won the 2012 Daytona 500. And considering his son has had, like, what, two or three photo finishes of the Daytona 500, he's a champion, yes, of the of the Cup Series, but still has not won the Daytona 500 as of the time of this video. And his dad almost won it with Tommy Baldwin racing. Uh, man, that was, that was such a fun night at Daytona. There were 36 right there, seal wrap. Uh, repair tape get a whole bunch of smaller contingencies this is a smaller team so of course they're going to have a bunch of maybe more local sponsors if you will got Dave Blaney right there the whole front end or not the front end but the top of the car is very difficult to wrap because uh, you're trying to line up the roof and the a b and c decals uh, very very challenging a uh, lot of patience you got to have the hands of a surgeon and the patience of a fisherman when it comes to making some of these cars got Goodyear right there 3m mechanics where nascar cup series uh, NASCAR race car, Direct TV, USG, Coors Light, Autometer, Jags Mail, Lincoln Welders, Mobile One, Holly E Fly. Got some smaller decals here. Mechanic, no, it's not mechanics, right? It's a widow, widow, no, widow wax. Your jabroni, it's Wix air filters, SEM and racing electronics. American ethanol ring there. Go to the caboose of the die cask at sealwrap.com. I like that green back bumper. It's very simple. Uh, this is back when the bumpers were literally flat. I mean, they were a, they were pretty much a flat 2x4. And uh, that's what spawned the great tandem racing uh, that we saw at, at Daytona and Talladega during the Gen 5 era. On the right side of the die cast, very glossy, very shiny. I like my die casts glossy. I don't like just a little bit of clear coat. I want to cake the die cast in clear coat. But the problem is... Is when you have a, a a white die cast and you coat cake it in clear coat, it yellows and it looks bad. Trust me, I got some of them in my collection, and they yellowed really, really badly. So, uh, I like making uh, the darker color die cast more because you can cake them with clear coat, and they don't yellow. But the the white cards, you gotta you gotta use all kinds of special crap uh, to get them to not yellow, and it's expensive. Got widow wax right there on the deck lid. Just a very simple die cast. Uh, definitely love this paint scheme. Very glad to be able to make it. And the decal set actually works pretty well. Uh, I, I expected to have some bugaboos. Like right here, this might look like, okay, well, wh what are you doing here? Why is this one all screwed up? The reason why it's like that is because the Chevy Cup cars, the, the back window arch goes all the way back to the L on seal. And uh, with, with this generic mold they used in 2011 and 2012, all of the cup cars that were made in 164 have this uh, COT promo style back window. Anyways, the decal sets for the Chevy Impala, not for the generic mold. So you're going to get a little bit of a oopsie do there. I could have maybe cut a, a spare decal sh uh, sheet and maybe fixed that, but 
I was afraid it was going to overlap and maybe not look so well, so I kind of left it as is. But uh, regardless, I still think it looks really, really cool. Uh, love this diecast. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Have a blessed one. Thank you for supporting the channel and watching all the videos we have on here, guys. Thank you all so much. Much love. Diecast Buffet. Signing off. Thank you.